Hello everybody, this is the second video in my series of Xbox Live vs the PSN. Today we are going to be doing, as promised, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Uh, we are starting off with Xbox Live, so let's go down to multiplayer so we can start this video. Alright, here we are, Xbox Live, clicking in. There we go, find a match. As you can tell, here we go, we've got all the match types there. Now, you can see the grayed out boxes, that's because I'm not high enough rank. Um, there, the yellow text, that lets you know the number of players are currently online. Which is pretty cool. So, into team deathmatch, and we're getting the match quality. I'd like to point out that unlike our last video, this time both Xbox Live and PSN are connected via wired connections. Fantastic, loading into a match now. Let's go over to the PlayStation screen. Now a couple of pointers about uh, the PlayStation version of Call of Duty. Point number one, underneath the multiplayer there is no message of the day box, uh, which is... Not necessarily significant, however, I thought I'd just point it out because it is a, a, a GUI change. Alright, and uh, now we're screen. And there again, another GUI change, there is no download maps option. Now, these aren't necessarily significant points, however, um, they're points nonetheless. So we're going to click in to find a game. And there's another difference, so that's three differences on the GUI. There is no yellow text uh, letting you know the number of players on PlayStation Network. That, to me, is a shame. Because I would have liked to, in this comparison video, to, to show that uh, PlayStation Network have just as many users online on a bank holiday Monday at 2 in the afternoon. Okay, we're going to get the match. That actually loaded in a lot quicker. Now, I kid you not, that loaded in a lot quicker for PlayStation Network there. So it found the match, and it was in like that. Took a few seconds to actually load up on Xbox Live. So let's go to the split screen. All right, as you can see, we have joined both matches partway through. PlayStation Network is well over halfway over uh, in terms of match. However, just to keep the video afresh, we will join another match as soon as this one ends. Next question is probably, why are we doing this comparison? Well, we are doing this comparison because my previous video, which was Guitar Hero World Tour, uh, got flamed quite a bit uh, because people were complaining that I was doing a comparison on a game that was a one-on-one -on -one match and that if I did this, I would clearly be showing that PlayStation Network couldn't perform as well as Xbox Live on a game uh, as intensive as Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Well, to those people, I ask, what have you got to say now? I mean, really, I, I don't understand where you came from. You know, I don't even think you've went ahead and played on PlayStation Network. I think your, your entire argument saying that Xbox Live is better is based around 8-man party chat rather than actual gameplay, um, which is ridiculous considering that 8-man party chat really is the only benefit you get from your £40 a year. If you don't really care about 8-man party chat, then PlayStation Network is more than capable of satisfying and meeting your needs. Uh, there is plenty of players online. This match is full on PlayStation Network. The match on Xbox Live is full. Uh, both of them are running exactly the same. Conveniently on the same map as well. I'd like to um, reply and respond to the most common question that is actually uh, given in a response to uh, these kind of videos. And that is uh, about Xbox Live saying, you get what you pay for. Okay, I want to know what do you get on a gold account that you can't get for free elsewhere. Okay, and more importantly, what do you get on an Xbox Live gold account that you don't already get for free on a silver account on Xbox? Marketplace access, you get that for free. Video store access, you get that for free. Um, cross game chat, you get that for free. The only thing that you pay for is the online multiplayer and 8-man party chat, so it's £40 a year for online multiplayer and 8-man party chat. That's the honest truth. And I can't get flamed for it either, because it is the truth. You get what you pay for, well, all you're paying for, really, when you think about it, because the online player is free on the PlayStation Network, and it runs exactly the same as Xbox Live, the only extra thing you're getting for your £40 a year 
is eight man party chat is eight man party chat worth 40 pound a year i asked it in my previous video i ask it again now is the ability to have an eight man party chat worth 40 pound a year or whatever it is in your currency i mean again i would definitely say it's not i mean then people are going to come along and say well we're getting facebook and we're getting twitter on xbox i've got news for you guys okay facebook and twitter are available on any web browser and conveniently the playstation network has its own web browser and you can already access facebook and twitter via the playstation web browser you can also access iplayer and youtube with their own dedicated sites uh, formatted to work on playstation so getting facebook and twitter well playstation users and normal users mobile phone users and any other user with any kind of web browser get that for free so really that's not worth paying for either the only extra thing you pay for on xbox live that isn't available uh, on playstation network is eight man party chat because the online play is the same okay we're going to load into a second playstation network match here to keep the video going because the xbox uh, match is still underway just to keep the video going there we go it's loading into the match as you can see, I'm about to get a kill on Xbox Live there, going through the wall. Bullets through the wall. Probably one of the niftier things on Call of Duty, to be fair, that you can shoot through walls. Right, now there's, there's really not more, not a lot more left to say, you know, other than the fact that the world needs to stop bashing PlayStation Network, because quite clearly... It is a good alternative to Xbox Live, and it's a free alternative to Xbox Live as well. I mean, look at the video, watch it again. You know, it hasn't lagged once, and I don't exactly have a strong broadband connection. I'm using Sky Broadband here in the UK. Uh, I'm supposed to get a 15 meg connection. Um, when I do speed tests, it says that I get a, around about a 13 meg connection. And my upload rate's supposed to be just under 1 meg, so it's not a really super fast connection. And I can run... PlayStation Network games lag free and I'm talking about 32 man games as you'll see by my next video which is going to be Battlefield 1943 both running on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network so there you go and a nice test of a purely online dedicated game you know ones that you have to buy digitally I thought that would be a nice test for the next one unfortunately guys uh, the UFC undisputed video that I did previously promise that has been cancelled and that is due to online quitters yes uh, PlayStation Network and Xbox Live are both plagued by people who quit games. They quit games because they're about to lose. Uh, and that's the truth. I'm sure many of you out there have experienced online quitters where their win-loss record is more important. Uh, so the the quality of the UFC Undisputed video, it, it wasn't good. So uh, that isn't going to be uploaded. However, we will have the video for Battlefield 1943 up soon. Okay, it's time for you guys to make your own conclusions. I stand by my previous statement that £40 a year and all you get extra is a headset. And that's not a bash at uh, PlayStation. I know on PlayStation we can have private chats and video conferencing and things like that. However, cross-game party chat is missing. So, reply to the video, subscribe. We'll see you for Battlefield 1943.